Welcome to 10 Minute KQL. Whether you're a technology pro looking to master the Kusto query language or new to the world of IT and looking to learn your first language, 10 Minute KQL is a place to level up your skills. This is the 11th session in the KQL Intermediate Series. In the last session, we completed a four part join series. In this session, we'll have a debugging challenge. After this debugging challenge, we'll have an end of the series quiz as the last video in the intermediate series. If you find value in these videos, please support the channel by hitting the like button. And if you want to receive notifications of new videos, hit the subscribe button with the notification bell. Sometimes it's helpful to spot bugs in a query, and sometimes it can help you to write the query better next time. You'll have 15 seconds to review each question before the answer. If you need more time, pause the video so you can study the query more. Let's begin. Question 1. True or false? The following query will add an additional field that calculates the difference between time generated and created date time. The answer is false. We can't perform math problems with a string data type. If there were no casting applied, this query would work as intended. Question 2. Identify two bugs in this query. The first bug is that the let statement doesn't end with a semicolon, and it can't be used. The second bug is that the project statement narrows the output down to five available fields, and the sort by statement is attempting to sort by a field that's not present in that group of five, which will cause an error. Question 3. Identify the bug in this query. When we join data sets and define the kind of join we want, we use a single equals. In this example, there's a double equals, which will throw an error. Question 4. Find the bug in this query. This one is a little tricky to find. The underscore ports variable is the first one to find, and it's in all lowercase. When called, it has an upper P. This will throw an error. Problem five, find the bug in the following summarization. Summarizations in dynamic data types throw an error. Dynamic data should be cast to a string or other data type prior to making the summarization. Problem 6. Find the bug in this query. When we use bin to make buckets of time, it requires a second argument that defines the time span of each bucket after time generated. Problem 7. Find the bug in this query. When we round, we place the field we want to round, followed by the number of decimal places to round. The additional zero is not needed, and we'll throw an error. Problem 8. Find the bug in this query. When you join two tables, and the key field has a different name on both tables, 
you use dollar sign left and dollar sign right to define the fields that should be used as keys. In this example, we have two dollar sign lefts, which will throw an error. Problem nine, true or false. The following query will show all the fields from the maximum quantity in the value field. The answer is false. To show all fields in the output, argmax requires a comma and an asterisk. The asterisk represents displaying of all fields in the output. Problem 10. Find the bug in the following query. When rendering a chart, there are multiple chart types. My chart is not one of them, and it will produce an error. Problem 11. Find the bug in this query. When we comment out a line, we need to use two slashes. This query only has one, which will produce an error. Problem 12, find the bug in this query. When we join two tables, we have to join on a key. In this query, instead of using on before the key, it's using in. This will throw an error. Problem 13, find the errors in this query. When we define variables, we start with the let statement and end each variable with a semicolon. Here we have four let statements and each one needs to end with a semicolon, but three are missing. Problem 14, find the bug in this query. When we set and call variables, capitalization matters. In this case, the variable has a lowercase d but it's called with an uppercase D, which will cause an error. Problem 15. Here's the last question, true or false. If I use the GUI to select a chart, I can pick which type of chart through a dropdown of options. The answer is false. The best way to select the precise type of chart or graph is to use render in the query. That's it for the debugging challenge. How'd you do? If you missed zero or one questions, well done. You know the material well, and you're ready to move on. If you missed more, that's okay too. Part of the learning process is reviewing material and later testing yourself on that knowledge to see where you stand. If there are any particular areas you miss questions on, we recommend reviewing those individual sessions before moving on. That's it for today's session. In the next session, it will be the last one in the intermediate series, and we'll have a general quiz on the content. Then we'll move on to the advanced series, where we'll cover parsing of dynamic objects, manipulating strings, working with functions, and other topics of interest. If you have a special topic you want to be covered, write it in the comment section. See you in the next session. If you find value in these videos, please support the channel by hitting the like button. And if you want to receive notifications of new videos, hit the subscribe button with the notification bell.